I'm gonna talk to you guys about my methods on how I make a bunch of money off of used shoes and how I used to do it back when I was in high school. Because I'm telling you right now, bruh, back when I was a youngster, oh yeah, I was getting to it. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the family, join the squad. You already know what to do. The family has grown to 60K subscribers, man. This is insane. Hit that like button because you already know that helps the algorithm oh so much. So let's go ahead and get into this video. The first thing that I want to say is shout out to the Fix Kicks because I got a great deal on a pair of shoes and they will be the shoes that I'm using in the example for today's video. And also shout out to my boy David Got Kicks because he was the one that was helped, you know, proxy or whatever you want to call it pick up the shoes for your boy so let's go ahead and open this box up real quick see what shoes we got inside and let's see how much money we can make off of them Ooh, we got some toilet paper and we got the shoes so first things first i just want to say shout out to david got kicks if you guys haven't already go check out his site he got some louis vuitton toilet paper for people right now in the times of need when it comes to the toilet paper might as well do it with luxury bruh oh my gosh i did not know he was about to send this to me either <laughs> So basically, these were available at the Fix Kicks at their shop down there in the Bay. I hit them up. I was like, bro, I need you to pick those up. I seen it was for a smoking deal. They're in my size. I got high school, you know, memories of all that right there. So he ended up picking up the shoes for me. These were 40 bucks. And uh, he also sent me some Louis Vuitton toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay fresh and so clean. I'll show you guys the tutorial on how to use this and how to properly wipe in another video. But for today, we're just going to stay on this topic. Thanks again for the toilet paper, bro. All right, y'all, let's get into the video. So so here we have it, a size 13 Air Jordan 1 Retro Alpha White University Blue. And these came out back in like 2007 or something like that. And I remember they dropped when I was in high school. Everybody had to have them with the picture on the side. It was just something dope back when the BMP pack was coming out, all those different things. So these for me, nostalgic memories. These still got the Air Jordan on the tongue and on the back here on the heel. This is before the high tops was a thing and the mids was really like a thing for people. So yeah, they're dirty, yeah, they're beat, whatever you want to call it, but I think it's going to be worth it. And this this is what I would do back when I was in high school and that's what I want to talk about first. How would I make a bunch of money off of shoes like this as dirty and beat up to everything like that? This is how I'd do it. I would always find shoes like this that had great prices because I'm like, I know the potential of the shoe, not what it's currently at right now, but I saw the value in it later after I got done, you know, putting my work into it, cleaning it up, scrubbing it, trying to get some of the creases out, get some of the dirt off, fix the suede, relace it, tie it up, you know, clean the tongue up, clean the outsole, clean the midsole, insole, you know what I'm saying? you kind of get where I'm going with this right so after I have that notion in my head already thinking like hey what are these shoes gonna be worth all those different things back in the day there was no apps like goat and StockX and all these different things like that it was just straight up posted on Craigslist try to figure it out Facebook marketplace hit up some homies at the high school see if they wanted the shoe different things like that but I know if I could get the shoe for 40 bucks retail is like a hundred and something I might be able to try to get close to retail now that the shoe's so old and some people might still want it different things like that so let's go ahead and clean this shoe up we'll figure out what they compare to prices at the end of the video and then we'll kind of determine how much we could sell this shoe for and determine what the profit would be if I were to sell this shoe after I bought them for 40 bucks in this video I'm going to clean one of the shoes so that way you can see the difference between the cleaned version and then the dirty version so you can see kind of what I did and how much I was able to increase the value based off of that so with that being said let's go ahead and get into it definitely gonna get these laces out too got to clean those that's a dirty insole right there we definitely Definitely got to clean that these they're all light blue with the suede on there and then it's got leather here on the white panels and then a leather kind of picture here where the swoosh is at so this is a new buck so we're gonna kind of try to take it careful with it I know with these in particular probably not gonna really notice that much you're probably gonna definitely get some of that dirt out of there and clean it up and then we'll try to spruce it up a little bit with some mink oil so let's go ahead and start cleaning the sole and then we'll work our way to the upper and knock that out and then we'll see what it looks like somebody definitely wore these to the beach because there's like a lot of sand in there but that's that's a whole nother issue So you can see some quick scrubbing is already just getting that main dirt off and then we'll get a little bit deeper in there after we get this main coat of dirt off and then try to get the little details with all these spots right here in the crack. Okay, so we got a lot of the main dirt off the outsole right now. You can see it's starting to show a little bit more color, not as dirty looking. And uh, we got to get in the cracks now. So let me get a little exacto knife or some scissors or something. Let me just one sec. I know this seems like it's a little bit extra, but trust me when I tell you, this could change the value of the shoe. So 
See right here, this is gum that's probably been sitting on the soil for I don't know how many years. I guarantee you it's been sitting on the soil for years and they never got it off. So when you use the X-Acto knife, you don't have to worry about touching it or nothing. And you can just scrape it out because it gets super hard. So this is going to change the game, bro. I'm telling you, the little things. Okay, so now we got some of the bigger stuff off of there. And now let's go ahead and get in these cracks with the toothbrush, you know, classic old school style. So as you can see right here, the tongue is really, really dirty and I gotta get that cleaned off with the leather and everything. And then we gotta work our way to the upper right here and get this part of the shoe. So got the midsole cleaned up a little bit. The outsole is looking a lot better. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the upper real quick. You can see right there, just from the first scrubbing, how much cleaner it is. Just because this leather is so much easier to clean. When there's a lot of dirt on it, people think like, oh, it's white leather, it's gonna be- Nah, bro. Just give it a little bit of scrubbing. I promise you, it'll be all right. All right, now I'm gonna use a softer bristle on the upper right here and just work my way in a circular motion all around the upper. Try to clean out that, that new bug, that suede, whatever you wanna call it. Bro, honestly, this is coming out pretty cool. I ain't mad at it. Let's get it. So the booty meat back here is still pretty dirty. So we're gonna hit that with the end of the toothbrush so we can get a little bit deeper right there on the white part of the midsole. Cause I gotta get that main dirt off of there so it look crispy and white again. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta look icy. This is the part where you gotta put that elbow grease in there, but trust me, it's gonna be worth it. You can always tell if somebody's a car owner or not by the heel of their foot. Everybody goes through that struggle, bro. It's looking pretty solid. Okay, so now there's like a satin sock liner on these right here. So I'm gonna hit that with a brush, just try to clean it out a little bit, you know, and try to get some of that dirt from, you know, that heel sweat and all that extra stuff. We gotta get that out of there. Okay, next thing I wanna do is spray them down with some deodorizer on the inside, cause I don't wanna, I just can't be, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta disinfect the shoe. We're gonna let these dry and we're probably gonna hit them with some mink oil and then I'll be back at you guys in a minute. Okay, the shoe is all dry now. So let's go ahead and it actually feels pretty solid. Honestly, I feel like I don't even need to hit it with the mink oil. It might bring a little bit of color back, but to be honest, I'm probably just gonna end up leaving it like this. So I don't even need to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and put the insole in. As you can see, I got it white, crispy, and clean again. Well, as much as I could. So I always like to spray that one down as well. And if you wanna see how to deep clean insoles, go ahead and check out that link above. I have that for a video for you guys as well on how I go through that whole process. Now let's go ahead and lace these up. Okay, so this is basically what it's gonna look like right here. As you can see, it's looking a lot cleaner. The midsole is looking solid, everything like that. So let's go ahead and compare it to the other shoe real quick and see what it looks like. Let you guys see some detailed shots between the two, just to see kind of the condition on where it was and where it's at now. So now that you have seen the difference between the two, as you can see, the midsole looks better. It's a little bit more icier, more white. The new bucket doesn't look too bad. It's laced up, it looks a lot cleaner. The leather's cleaner. The creasing is gone somewhat. Obviously, there's still yellowing from age I could get rid of that but I don't really feel like putting that much effort into this particular shoe but as you can see just a little bit of work a little bit of elbow grease it could take it a long way and definitely increase the value of the shoe by doing those little things right there so let's hop over to go app real quick and check out the price of this shoe as you can see right here we have the Air Jordan 1 retro alpha white university blue this is the same model obviously it's not a dead stock version so we don't want to look at the brand new prices but let's take it over to the used prices we got used prices that's hidden for around 200 bucks I see 80 bucks, I see 100 bucks, I see 150 bucks. So it's kind of all over the place from that 100 to 200 dollar range, depending on the condition and obviously the size plays a factor as well. This is a size 13. A lot of size 13 shoes don't go for as much as the smaller size shoes do. So we got to take that into account as well when it comes to our profits and things like that. So I'm going to look on two shoes that's in my size range and that's going to be a size 12 and a size 13 in that area. So let's look at a size 13 first. We got one pair of shoes, size 13. They want 200 bucks. The shoe is used. Pretty good condition. They look really, really solid. They're not as creased as bad as not as yellow. Why you got his toe in the picture, bro? You could have just moved your foot. Like, bare toe? <laughs> I can see your knuckle. I mean, what's up, bro? <laughs> Anyways, they look pretty good condition. So as we can tell, these are 200 bucks. That's what he's asking for. Do I think he'll get 200? Probably not, but it is what it is. And these are not as nice as those. So we're gonna already bump our price down from the $200 that are asking price. Now let's check the size 12 and see what that's talking about. So we got size 12 right here, we got 150 bucks. Okay, these is pretty clean too. These look pretty solid. We got the 190 bucks. These is all pretty solid. I feel like 
after doing some work to these these did get sprucened up a little bit so they probably might fall in that 150 to 130 dollar range if we could try to finesse it but i'm pretty sure we could get over 100 bucks so if we do some calculations just assuming that we sold the shoe for 120 bucks we bought the sneaker for 40 dollars so what does that mean we ended up coming up 80 dollars just off of the deal so all we had to do was just find some shoes that nobody wanted anymore that were dirty they are considered beaters different things like that rockers rotate shoes however you want to call it but a lot of shoes that fall into that beater rocker category those are shoes that you can still make a good profit on if you know how to find the right shoe find it for the right price or talk them down or whatever it may be and the easy ways that you can do this especially like if you're in high school or something like that just hit up your homies and be like bro what beaters you got what shoes you trying to get rid of what will you let me get for free because people will literally just give you beaters for free bro and then you can literally take those beaters and go clean them up get them icy do what you can sell them for 50 bucks whatever it may be and then you take that 50 bucks and then you go buy another pair of shoes and you buy a pair from your another homie or whatever buy from the same homie whatever it may be and then you take that money and you continue to flip it and continue to grow it and next thing you know you're buying all these expensive rare sneakers that you want to purchase but i'm telling you right now when I was 16, when I was 15, this is how I was doing it. I was getting a pair of used shoes, shoes that people didn't really want, finding stuff on Craigslist, offer up, well, offer up wasn't really around, but different places like that, right? And I would go find the shoes, I'll hit people up, hey, I'll get these for, you know, I'll offer you 20 bucks. 30 bucks, 50 bucks. And I would always try to stay under 50 bucks. And then I would always try to sell the shoe for like a hundred bucks. So I could at least like try to double my money or make 40 bucks minimum. And I always had those little goals. And I would set those little goals and I would hit those little goals. And you have to do these little things, put the time in, put the effort in. I know a lot of people don't wanna do this, but if you don't have a way to make money, and this is an easy way to make money, especially if you don't have a lot of money to invest, I guarantee you, you can grow your money really fast if you do it this way and hustle and grind it out and bust out a bunch of shoes and you know clean them all up and do what you gotta do. It is definitely possible because I'm telling you right now, I did the same exact thing when I was 16 years old. So at the end of the day, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something from it. I hope I inspired you to do your first little sneaker, mini restoration, whatever you like to call it, deal and make your first profit. There's a lot of ways to make money, y'all. This is simply just one way, but I wanted to introduce this to you guys because I know this is something that I did when I was 16 years old. I don't do it no more. Definitely something you can do. So with that being said, my name is DJ. I'm Signing out, I got to go, I'm gone. Peace. Yo, shout out to everybody that made it to the end of the video. You see, I got the new lighting set up. I'm setting it up different. You know, I'm about to be changing stuff up just a little bit. I'm working on setting things up for y'all to, you know, just, just keep evolving to say the least. But with that being said, I need a comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is gonna be splash. The reason why I'm saying that, I gotta, I gotta pick up the shoe again. But you know he's shooting that shot right there? He gonna make that. Cause if you know where this shot is shot from and what this shot was for, national championship, baby, splash. All right, y'all, I gotta go. Don't forget to hit the link at the top of the comment section. I got that pin for you guys to enter in for raffles and different things, obviously exclusive access and new promo codes. I got some more collaborations coming up soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Now I'm out, I'm gone. Peace.